got this, Jerry. I'm not saying that to myself. I'm repeating what you said, Tej. <laughs> you got this, Jerry. Uh, It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right, Gabriel, buddy, your little profile picture. I'm like, man, this guy, this guy looks suave. It'd be weird to call me Jeremy. People find it weird to call me Jeremiah, which is my legal name. I'm the only Jeremiah in all of Ubisoft. Global. <laughs> How weird is that? This portfolio, pretty sick, my friend. Uh, let's start at the beginning here. We're going to comb through these ones pretty quickly. Just because your more recent stuff is probably what you want eyes on. There's a JR Bear, Jerry, J Star, Jester, J Dog, J Money. There's a lot of nicknames. Actually, no one at work calls me Din, so. Jer Bear is one. Little tear. Mm. Makes Maru whimper. Mm. Um, cool. We got a TV. Some crazy stuff going on on the screen there. We're going to keep going. These ones, uh, man, this one's only five months old. Wait a minute. Six months, six months, five months. It's a cool pistol. It gives me a very. Um, Perfect dark feel for some reason. This is cool. So I think, I mean, this, so this gun is cool. I won't say that, like, I feel like it's not textured. Modeled and textured, I feel like this isn't textured. <laughs> Crap, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, Daddy Dynasty? Oh, man. So, yeah, I feel like you just need some material definition. Even if it's just like... Even if it's just the roughness. You know what I'm saying? Where, like, the grip maybe has a different roughness to the metal. I'm seeing now a little bit of edge damage, which I didn't see before. There's the text too. So, okay, in this angle, these are different. Interesting, it might be your environment then. Because here I can see the difference in the materials. Oh, that is, that's odd. So this all looks pretty cool. Dang, that chamber though. <laughs> Tij, wow. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's good. Wait a minute, so how's, what slides? It must be, so this back piece slides back, right? Am I reading that correctly? Everything else is stationary. It's just this piece slides back. So I guess when that slides back, this area right here, I would like to see some roughness of the, the sliding. The trigger looks a bit flimsy. It does look a little thin. But I mean, I don't know. I think we're thinking about this gun too much. Whoa. Okay, so see this roughness difference to the rest of everything else? This The range of this is so much more uh, reflective than everything else to the point where like, this is actually out of tune with everything where like maybe if it was half the roughness and then, um, or half the reflectiveness, I should say, and then applying that type of element to these other smaller details just to get some like material breakup. And I think you'd be good. And then watch out for your seams on your mirroring here. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the next one because I think, uh, 
I think as we go forward, this stuff gets crazy good. You know what I'm saying? So it weirds me out that these are, this is like five months ago. Some of your early stuff was six months ago. I'm just going to scroll through these. This one has a really interesting material to it. And that dirtiness is dirty. That is dirty, man. Wait a minute. It's either dirty or really reflective. Interesting. I can feel the weight in this camera though. So this looks this one looks nice as well. I think the resolution of the whatever is going on right here, I think that's maybe some oil or some damage to the metal. Uh, feels like the resolution might be a little low. Wait for it. Boop. Oh yeah, okay. Man, that looks pretty good. So it might be the environment, but this outside edge is real dark. Oh, look at that, all that, mm, no, 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 no. I think if this was lighter, you'd get a, a more uh, visually pleasing uh, result. And I feel like maybe it's the environment that's doing that because like, sorry, I'm just zooming in. It's so hard to scroll in here with it. You see it's lighter here. It just needs to reflect the its environment more or the environment needs to be brighter. I uh, I will check Elvito. I'm guessing it's because it's, it's following um, the, yeah. It's going metal in this approach, right? So, yep, that's just full metal, which is fine. It's just the base color, I think, is too, too dark. No, oh, that doesn't make any sense, though. Hang on. Yeah, okay, specular, not in this. So a lot, a lot of the times in game development, you need your uh, metalness to either be black or white because something can't be gray, right? It's either metal or it isn't metal. The roughness is too dark. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what's making it so reflective, right? Yeah. Man, see, this is where, like, I should message the uh, Sketchfab because, like, this is where I would love to be able to grab the roughness and just have, like, a histogram control in that channel. Oh, my gosh, that would be so good because then I could just go to the final render and then give some feedback and be like, yeah, see, if we go if we go and click, click like, a little button to the side here that gives me control to so the roughness, if I could just shift that around to just show you like what ranges are working and why. Oh my God, it would be so good. Frame that, please, sketch map. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be super useful to everyone. And it would show Sketchfab as being more in the initiative of like pushing people to get better as well. Albedo is fine, lightness wise. Yeah, when I looked at it, it is, I mean, it's not too dark. That's still inside of the range. Um, it is It is definitely the roughness, it's just too dark. It's, it's weird though, because in here, in here it works for me. And if you look at the base color, you see it's got color, it's got information in it, and it's quite a bit brighter than this. Um, if you wanted to keep the roughness here, you definitely need to increase the brightness of your base color for the metal. But that's not really PBR at that point. It's something else. It's it's just pushing visual visual pleasing pleasiness, pleasiness, pleasiness. Um yeah. Yeah, and then you're right. Uh break up in the albedo would be really good, like more than this like you can see where this is light here. I bet you can actually see more information uh, in the color there versus like the rest of it in general. Oh, 
man, there's so much like, yeah. Look at all that information. Mm. Oh, the glass too. Oh my God. So hot, so hot. I'm sweating now. It's crazy. This is cool. It looks kind of scary. This is pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's a shield. Oh, I see, I see. Blender. Yeah, Blender is getting a lot of attention. Uh, sorry, I'll go back to this really quick. Uh, um, num, 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 num. I don't have too much to say on this one. Um, the resolution of the materials feel a little low. And the geometry also feels a little low. The damage on the edge here is a little too uniform as well. As well, as well, as well. I need to work on my language skills. I'm tired, okay? Gosh. Dang. So while the metal or while the wood kind of looks a little low res and a little harsh on the normals, I really like the little tag things that are kind of fallen off and like I kind of wish one was out here. Like where where are the ones? Oh, I see. Interesting. So in the lighting of the game, it's fine. Or is this, hang on, wait a minute, let me. These, okay, this is yours. I was like, is this the reference maybe or? Yeah. The top ones are rendered. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the, the normal on this one is really strong. So toning that back would be nice. And the ones that are missing that have fallen off, I find it weird that they're not like on here or down here. In the scene, in the correct lighting scenario though, it looks fine. Since it goes into the game, yeah, so I guess in the engine you have to really boost it, right? Oh, this is cool. This is very dark again in the Albedo. Looks cool though. Yeah, it needs material breakup, I think. Um, or like roughness breakup, something something on the surface. But I mean, the model execution is fine. I think anyways. Um, I like how like grungy and kind of rough it is and dirty down here. Some roughness differences would be super nice. Like imagine if this frame was uh, quite a bit less reflective, but then these panels are reflective. You instantly get that that separation, you know, the material separation. Like these guys being uh, more reflective than this surface here. Like maybe the the majority of this barrel here is is not as reflective, but then the the inside. Uh, actual, um, was it the floating barrel? Is much more reflective than the rest because of that. You get that nice separation. Man, we're just fantagramming it out right now. Look at that. It just keeps going. Uh, these look pretty good. Again, it's really strong, but I think in the scene, yeah, in the scene, it looks fine. Man, I liked the lighting of uh, New Vegas. That's interesting. So this looks really low poly to me, but I think that's actually the design, right? Don't really have a comment on these. Um, maybe silhouette change would be good. 
So like you see how the base here uh, is pretty close to the same diameter as the beam of wood. The beam of wood actually feels too thick to me. That's the old one from the old New Vegas. So this is the new one. Wh which one am I looking at? This is the... bottom image. So, okay, so if this one is yours, and this one is the the old one, yeah, so with this one, I would change the light direction because it's hard to read. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're All we're getting is rim light and uh, the ambient fill. But we're we're going through stuff too slowly. You have some really good stuff in here. So I'm gonna like hand pick some things. So this one is actually on our Instagram. The material definition in this one is super, super nice. I'm just noticing now that the screen is uh, distorted in the scan lines. I wouldn't, I don't think you need to do that because it, it just kind of takes away from like what's going on. Man, this right here, this is, this is the hotness. Your, your roughness definition on the side here as well is really good. Really, really good. The edge wear, I can't tell. I think it's okay. Because, like, it runs the fine balance between, like, uh, corrosion on metal and stone damage. What, what is what? Uh, Forcing, you should make th that clear with the text under the images. Dang. For real, these are blender renders. You need a link to the Instagram? What is it? Instagram, whoop, Graham, that's not it at all. There you go. Um, man, this looks dope though. Dude, it, it looks good in here too. Definitely the these renders look really nice though, like really, really nice. Oh, nice, shout out to the, uh, the Empire, thanks dude. Hmm. Those are great details. Great use of uh, roughness variation as well. Oh, and the light post one. Yeah. Dude, look at these. Oh. Dude, I love the floating uh, UI elements with the multi multi paneled stuff. It's like old school AR. <laughs> Let me get right up in there. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice man. So this detail here is all kind of modeled in. Whoops. But uh, I'm gonna be honest, I think that's fine. I mean, you could bake that down. It's just not going to have the same effect. And you can bake that down when you put it in the game, right? Yeah, in here. Yeah, in there, it's it's just dark. I got gotcha. you. Um, where are we at here? I'll show you. i show you guys. Yeah, so you just made this one piece then and like duped it around. Let me see if it's matte cap surface. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, so they are all different. They're not, uh... oh, that pattern in the back is kind of cool. But yeah, see like this is without material. This is just surface definition. 
This is great. Mmm. Yeah, this is good stuff, man. Delicious. So this is the recent one that you did. I think you posted this just like, yeah, 20 hours ago. I saw it pop up while I was, uh, I think I was at work when I saw it. Wow, they have a solution for the liquid uh, for in uh, Sketchfab, dude, that's crazy. This looks really good. That text is surprisingly good resolution. What is the... Oh, select the material. Okay, interesting. Yeah, roughness looks pretty good. I think in the roughness, it would be nice to see some elements that are um, just like, I like that there's a lot of breakup and detail in there. Yeah, the UVs are laid out very nicely. Um, I think taking elements and just making them overall darker or overall lighter is where you're gonna get that material separation. Then again, though, I mean like, it really depends. Like, I guess the white stuff maybe could be the white parts of the materials could be more reflective than the than this. Let me see what it looks like with the roughness here. Yeah, so like these white panels, maybe those are more reflective in the roughness, and then the rest are is a little bit less reflective. And then you get that separation. It's kind of happening already, but it's kind of an illusion just because it's white versus uh, like a dark gray. I don't have really anything to say about your work, man. It's it's all pretty good. I mean, you're showing things that I, I haven't even truly shown in my portfolio before. But yeah, understanding what's metal and what's plastic, like this, this element down here, that's metal for sure. Right, that's metal. These are metal. This, this inner edge thing here, I like that it's different from this and this. Overall, it's, it's, uh, it's really well done. And I like the orange elements that are in here. I almost want them to be more saturated, but I don't know if that's that might be overdoing it. The white part is painted color on metal. Oh man, the, we're gonna call this the uh, visual tech metal damage from now on. I mean, we're getting pretty nitpicky with stuff. Honestly, I think all of this is fine. This looks pretty good. The definition seems to be fine too. And you just check it with like the way the light moves along the surfaces. It's cool, man. So you're looking for work, huh? And you're in Croatia. I will remember that. That's not far from here, actually. Well, I say it's not far from here because a lot of people go to Croatia for vacation for some reason. I hear it's kind of nice. Um, yeah. This is dope, man. We'll end on this cannon. I won't comment on it because I have to go to the next portfolio, but Croatia's freaking beautiful. Wow. Oh, I need the button. I need the button. You gotta save it for the donations or whatever, whatever triggers it. I forget what triggers it. Anywho. Nice work, man. 
Your stuff is looking real good. I look forward to seeing more of your work because it's just getting better and better in such a short period of time. It's kind of terrifying. All right, we got time for one more portfolio. We're going to blast through this next one. 